This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. If it Just turns out she's like, go Chloe is, that's friend. gonna be... I'll wait out uh, here so you can chill by yourself. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Forgive them. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You won't have any balls after we're done. They're getting chopped. Put a good old bloody dog thing in them. Tiny dick. Slash no dick, technically. And we're gonna make that bitch Victoria do it. Max! Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. Correct. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. <laughs> One of the nurses Fair gave enough. me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. What you do drawings of? I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. Wow. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. So I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Let's have a look at the drawing. Oh. <laughs> I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. So there's a wolf. I miss my banana. Wait. I miss my banana, really. Mustard. Old cat. Where is she? Walk, walk. Here. Okay. That makes no sense. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Face cards. Okay, whatever that is, we'll look Principal at Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Dear Kate, I just want to express my deepest wish for a speedy recovery and that Blackwater Academy is united in prayers for your return. Students and faculty have organized a ready in your honor, and I've never seen such an outpour of academic and community support for any new student in our history. I know my words may mean a little, given your circumstances, but it's uh, important you know that we do care. If you need any assistance at all, just please do not hesitate to ask. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Nathan's a brick. You don't want them to sign it. Like she says Victoria, but... 
Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. I know you hate me and you should, but I want you. But I only want to see you smile again. Please let me know if you need anything. Oh, that's kind of nice. Don't forget her yet, but still. I don't think get well is quite apropos. Well, oh, yeah, that says that she's mental. But she's not. She well. If this not gets really. Kate through the night, so be it. She can believe what she wants at the end of the day. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. Let's talk to her. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Do we? Oh, Victoria got I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a... Bitch! Uh, not... I'm a motherfucker, bitch! But I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and we had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? Because she's a bitch. Okay, uh, there we go. There's my answer. She's a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... She's wealthy, pretty, and yes, talented, so there's no reason for her to treat people like shit. Well, there must be. If Victoria could write me such a sincere letter. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No, I think it will take more than that, Max. Let's talk about Nathan and Anne Kate. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. Correct. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, well I did get his ass his suspended, it. so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. Yeah! So what is going on with him now? Mm hmm. Prescott family. I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people. But Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. Demon. They have something to do with death. Demon. We're going to stop him. The demon. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. The demon's Max, room number. Max, please let number. me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, text Kate. Messages I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Hey. What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. Oh. <laughs> you know he likes you. I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. With everything that's going on, it, a date seems weird. No, you deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Oh, she How means literally funny, not seen? like some toy. <laughs> it's a good thing we fed the bunny, because otherwise, bunny would be dead. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. The dick. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Nope, because he's going to get a butter in the face if I have the option. Let's kill the sandwich. Mr. Jefferson's shiny head. Actually, no, I don't know if that is Mr. Jefferson. I forgot who the characters are again. I know he did a painting of this, but I can't remember anything else but that. 
Sacks, Mr. Caulfield. That's a tiki totem. Tiki totem from the mountain. Hey, Max. Oh, no, that's How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Yeah. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for the school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. Uh. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like That's a total it. loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. Just I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled right friend. Twice. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot floor teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. How do we do that? Oh, I'm gonna catch a ball. Hey! Oh, missed it. Bastards didn't throw it to me. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Excuse me? Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm what here as usual. By the way, Thanks for helping Kate down. Have we not seen Are anyone you okay? since? Oh yeah, we haven't, have we? I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Oh, stop really? being a jealous bitch. I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. What a bitch! That's so ironic yeah, that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Talk to you later, Max. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Yo, jealous, mofo. Oh, you jealous, so. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds. Go ahead, go ahead. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real, my ass. I think every. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Well, I didn't yes, get best yes, of yes, so. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. Questions about the ring. No questions. Samuel is always here to talk. <laughs> See, he even talks like Gollum. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Why are we talking to the giant again? Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Rescue. Samuel, you're the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? No. Most everyone makes fun of me. Okay, now I feel bad. I warn them about Kate. I hate bullies, Max. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like a friend Max. You gotta admit he does like talk about I hope she like finds one. them now. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. He deserved it. He deserved it. And more. Samuel tries not to judge people. See just the way he goes Nathan he refers to him. So. Maybe he's supposed to be here though. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. 
Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better yeah, vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. That's a good thing, though. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, well, so you the fucking woods and creature? These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My wow. dad was a fisherman. Hmm. KFC. He take me out Mark to hear the whales KFC's, sing. Uh... Now they, they just cry. Do you think this is some kind of eco disaster, or? I think it's more than that. Somebody is causing all this to happen. Hell. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay I think are connected like, by yeah, time and time. That's going on. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Oh, well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Clear day, fuckers. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. She's now, who us. can I ask? I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather and the animals. Get that food in your belly. We all need to look out for each other these days. Patch. We. Okay, I'm back. Hello, Max. Thanks again for helping me fight the power. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow and whales. There must be a scientific explanation, right? Like when my friends at NASA metaphysics. tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, maybe it's time to get worried. Like they are. Mm -hmm. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. Okay. Prophecy. I want to so, hear about the prophecy. You don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Oh, okay. Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Unless you count those end of the world posters. Unless you know something I don't. Vortex Club causing the end of the world. What about wormholes and chaos theory? They're like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? <laughs> Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. We're not. I've got a gun, and I'm going to shoot his fucking brains out. Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. And I'm glad you How? did. So I was not you a swear word. Nathan at all. 
Let's it might be Blasphemy or next. something. But I did catch him storming off campus. Blasphemy. What happened That's this not week. it. I hope you Blasphemy. don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you, you might Bound be the wisest. Word, right? I mean, in that case, they actually swear in. I don't think Church surveillance would help to take a watch. How... Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing, and now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Which she is. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Blackwell needs help. Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn point, Vortex yeah. Club for a start. Well, yes. Good point. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Principal Wells. So why doesn't Principal Wells stop the party? Because he's a dick. To be honest, he doesn't seem to care about what's going on here. Because he's Raymond a Raymond Wells has saved this school from financial disaster, and he cares more than you know. Bullshit. You're wise, but don't be so quick to judge everybody. Oh, You're right. shit. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. You're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Oh, no. Chloe's flirting again. Uh, come on. Justin, you like it's been so long dog. since I've seen you. Just got to drag you off. coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, <sighs> you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. What are we doing? Sneaking into Nathan's room, right? Or... What we're doing? It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have I'm to Batman. find Nathan's room. Where is she? I don't know. She went KFC and it's the last I saw her. Vortex Club sucks. Evan. Yes. yes. Of course. That's why no shits were given. Evan rolls. Right. SMS. What do we get? Oh, we got one from him too. Uh, hey, honey, just got a weird text warning me that my nosy daughter had better stop pushing Evans and look out for herself. Is this some kind of school prank? And it's from a blocked number. Oh, I'm sorry, some jackass in my class thought it'd be funny sense. Not. I don't like strings on my number, okay? Me neither. Sorry. Just being a dad, I know it's been a tough week for you. It's almost like I'll call you guys there. Uh, love you all. Uh, Supermax, in case you still need it. Nathan's room number is 111. Kate, you're so awesome. Thank you. I love that you bring the red white in me. You're already rebel. Trust me. Always. And please, please be careful. Promise. Of course. <laughs> Says you. Of course, I'll keep you posted. I know you will. Ah, oh, Kate brings it. So, room 111 is the magic number. Yeah, we're still gonna have a nose around. Paper. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Well, you'd think they would be all over someone's thing. Can I hazard? Dorm, think tank, sit in shit. <laughs> That's quite good. Freak oh free glory ho <laughs> Bigfoot got big balls. Uh 